good afternoon. Oh, it's a beautiful Sunday uh, in March. And um, I've just been out and about exploring. And uh, I thought today would be a good day to um, have a little lunch outside and uh, test out my new KIHD uh, stove that I got at the Outdoor Adventure Show because I have not yet used it and uh, I'm pretty anxious to test it out and see how it works. So I have brought it with me. It comes in this little bag. It's so cute. <laughs> and um, I'm not sure if you can see here. I'm going to I'll take it out of the bag and then I'll um, put the camera view down so you can see it. It's kind of hard uh, to set stuff up out here because I'm on a hill and the ground is really uneven. Um, I found this piece of wood that was sitting out here so that's going to help me um, at least have an even surface. So Unpack this. And then I will uh, put the angle down. One sec. Hopefully you can see that. Got a couple different pieces here. This is the front plate. And then um, there's a couple of side pieces. These two are the same. And uh, the back piece. So this is the bottom plate. You can tell that because it's got the little tabs on either side. <clears throat> Just put one of the sides in there. Slides right in. And then I can find the back piece. The back piece has a little um, part here and I'll show you what that's for in a second. So these just kind of slide in together like that very nicely. Okay. And then the other side piece right there goes into goes into there and then sits like that. So it's all kind of loosely put together um, until you put on the front plate which slides on like this. And then there's this piece. This piece goes underneath. If you can see here, it slides right into there. So stick it in the front, it goes underneath the stove and it comes out the other side. Kind of have to push it a little bit and there it goes. So now it's in and it's all nicely put together and it will come apart. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It's super quick and easy to assemble. And um, there's a little door here for the front. So I'll just put that on like that. And there it is. Cute little thing, isn't it? So today I brought just the little frying pan that I have. And um, I'm going to put these two flats on the top and then I can set my pan right on top of the stove and cook like that. Alright, so that's all set. Just going to put these in the bag so I don't lose them. And uh, what did I bring today? <laughs> I brought uh, a couple of grillums that I had in my freezer. Left over from camping last summer. They were frozen and now they are thawed out. So I'm just going to cook those up in the pan and uh, put myself a little Dijon mustard to go with it. So nothing fancy, but um, something yummy anyways. So I'm going to get the fire going in here. I have a big huge pile of sticks that I collected 
Um, and I'm gonna get the fire going in here and uh, put my bag over. I'm gonna catch that on fire. <laughs> and uh, we'll get some lunch going here. So I'm just gonna break up these sticks even smaller. I tried to break them up really small, but an overhead view in a second. Good for now, I think. This is one of those times where I wish I had two cameras with me. Easier just to keep going. Alrighty. Stove is a wind block. As the wind's coming off the water. to go. Curious how long that fire is gonna go. It looks like it's going pretty good. Whew. It's smoky. <laughs> A good heat there, good fire going. Oh, I'm supposed to be putting the um, sticks in the front door, but 
Just seems easier to drop them right in the top. I might have put too many sticks in there. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I didn't read the owner's manual. The sausages are getting um, cooked. They certainly are cooking. So that's good. I'm quite impressed with this little stove. A lot of heat in there. The sausages are cooking, no problem. They actually look like they're pretty much done. My sausage is well done though, so I'm gonna let them cook for a little bit. Curious to see how long this fire is gonna go to. About as close as I can put my hand. It's got a lot of heat coming out of there. And um, my sausages are definitely done. I'm super excited to eat them. I'm gonna slice them up right in the pan. Way to eat these. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I just let this uh, little fire die out here. And um, might as well just keep it on there and keep my food warm. Actually, it's probably too hot for me to eat. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty impressed with this uh, kid stove and uh, I'm looking forward to using it again out in, uh, out on a trip. Get my mustard out. Can't have sausages without mustard. Mm. Oops. <laughs> A couple drops on there. Oh, it's going to be so good. Try some of this. It looks so hot though, I'm not sure. Job, kid. It's made in Canada too. Good job, guys. Well, I finished my lunch and it was delicious. Um, I just took the uh, the frying pan and because um, it was all dirty, it was black on the bottom and had the grease. So I just wrapped it up in the J cloth and then stuck it in the plastic bag that I brought it in. So I can just wash that when I get back to the house. And the stick stove uh, has cooled off by um, just since the time like that I finished eating. Um, what I did was there's a fire pit that we have down here. Um, I'm out in the back of the property where I live and um, there's a fire pit here. So I just dumped the, the leftover little sticks and bits in there um, and poured a little water on them and they're, they're out already. And um, the stove is, is cool enough to, to touch and to pack up already. So I um, just need to pull out that piece on the bottom. And then basically I think it will pretty much come apart. Just like so. So I will pack that up. And um, it's a little bit dirty, but... 
give it a wipe down at the house. Um, just wipe it off with some rags, some paper towels. Um, as you can see, it's not that dirty. Put it back in its little pouch. You can even it's even cool enough already to put it in the plastic bag that it came in, which is uh, pretty impressive because it was very hot. And I haven't been sitting here that long since I um, put the fire out, so yeah, not too bad. So lunch is done and um, the stove is back in its little bag. And uh, if you want to check out these stoves, you can uh, go to the KIHD website. It's KIHD, www.kihdproducts.com and uh, check out their Canadian made stick stoves. Um, I believe they have four different kinds and um, different weights, different prices and uh, made out of different materials depending on what you use it for. So i um, really happy with this product. Thanks guys. Gonna look forward to testing it out on my next trip.